Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Daryl. Welcome to Planted in Paradise. Spring is definitely here. We can hear birds singing. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a garden getting warmed up, getting ready. Snow is melting. And? <laughs> We're definitely going to have chicks this time. <laughs> Let's go see them. So this egg is not a fertilized egg. It has not been in the incubator. We just grabbed it off our counter. You can see right through it that there's no thing, there's nothing growing in there at all. Thank you, Daryl. Now, when Daryl puts that egg back somewhere safe, we will try number one. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a dark spot right here that is a fertilized egg and you can see veins as well that's pretty darn cool so there's definitely some development in that one we have to be very careful that we don't this one doesn't look as promising there's a bit of a dark spot i'd say no i'd say no i'll put that one back in Still put it in for a couple of days. Probably won't hatch them. Number three. Oh, again, I would say. Another dud. Another dud. That yes, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Oh, that one's. That one definitely has a baby. That one definitely has a baby in it. It's more solid. It's heavier, too. Good. There you can actually see the vein and actually almost all check. Yeah, you can. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of dropping them and they're like this. Six. Yep. Yeah. Now that one I'm not sure about. It looks like it may have stopped developing, mm -hmm. but it's hard to tell. Seven. Yep. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, I would say it Two more to go. Another dud. Another dud. And ten. Definitely, definitely, a, definitely a chicken in there. All right, let's get you guys back in there and warm. So that was four duds, I think we counted. So we think we have six chickens coming. We'll wait and see in one more week. It's time to meet the babies. So we have three out of the 10 that hatched. You saw as we were candling the chickens that not all of them developed. And then obviously there was a couple that even though maybe they developed a little bit, they didn't quite make it all the way to maturity. So we ended up with three. Um, we are going to try to have some more uh, eggs that we're going to hatch in the incubator. We're going to get another dozen of black copper morans and six Americana eggs, as well as um, we're going to hatch some of our own Easter eggers. So those ones are the ones that have the Americana father, Jack, and our red hens, because they lay brown eggs. Um, but with their babies should be laying some pretty blue green kind of eggs. So I'm excited to see what happens there. So here's a little bit of the setup for the chickens. As you can see, this is an old dresser and we're big on recycling and reusing things in our household. So we turn this old dresser into a brooder. There's a lamp, a heat lamp hanging. And you can see that the chicks right now are right underneath the lamp. That means that they're a little bit chilly, but they have plenty of room to wander away from the lamp if they get too warm. We have a waterer, which is very important. That's the first thing they need when they come out. So we had to dip each chick, had to dip their beak into can, the water. Can you show us, Jen? Sure. Here, buddy. It doesn't hurt them. It gives them a sense of let them know where the water is because when they're first born out of the egg, they have no idea what water is. 
So it shows them where to get the water. And then they also will find their feed when they get hungry. They can smell it, I guess. They just know what to do. But anyway, let's meet the babies. They're super tiny. This guy, we've named Thor. Oops. <laughs> He's a slippery sucker. This is Thor. He's the strongest of the bunch. So we're naming him Thor. Could be a female. In our house, it doesn't really matter what your gender is. So this one's name is Thor. And then this little one, he struggled a bit at first, but you can see his beautiful markings on his eyes. And Ray has named this little guy Harold. Why Harold? I have no idea. This little one, was another one that would kind of struggled and I really wasn't sure that this one would make it. But it's getting stronger every day and and we'll see. This one does not have a name yet. So if you want to name them, you can put your suggestions in the comments um, and we'll see what we do. Thanks for watching. Please Bye. like and subscribe. Thank you.